Hey everybody, it's Rosalind coming back at you one more again. I hope everybody's having a good day. I know I surely am. You know, it's been up and down lately. I guess I've been really emotional um, because I've been having these dreams. You know, uh, for the last few days, you know, I've been, you know, uh, looking at really health, you know, a lot of helpful videos just to, just to balance my frequency out, you know, because it's all over the place right now, you know, but nobody's perfect. Um, it's just, uh, the fact that I guess I'm just so ready to be home with my family, you know, and I've just been doing these techniques, you know, uh, building up my affirmations and, um, you know, basically trying to bring it into light, you know, call, basically call myself on it, you know, cause I want to be with my family so bad and, but I know I have to go through a lot of trials and tribulations before I can get to where I need to get. Because, you know, you, even though you get aggravated when you want something so bad and you just really want it right now and it's just not working out for you. But, you know, I, I've got to understand and tell myself, you know, Rome was not built in one day. If you, you want everything to go right like it's supposed to, you have to go on, on God's timing. So, you know, I've just been... You know, looking at my synchronized numbers and stuff like that. It keeps telling me to step out my comfort zone because I know when I get upset, I just shut everything down. I just, I, I said I wasn't even going to make a video today. I was pondering about it today when I was talking to one of my good friends today. And um, we were just talking about cutting cords. You know, if, you know, you got to pay attention. You know, things are sent to you for a reason. You know, you could be going through something and it's just a certain number will come up or you could be thinking about something in your head and you and you know you really want it or you're just trying to, you're decisive about it. You know, always pay attention to what the angels are sending you. You know, it, it's, you know, you always got to pay attention to that. And, you know, I know I had to step out my comfort zone because I know I'm good for sitting up here you know, cutting things off, you know, I'm, I'm just like the heck with it, you know, whatever. But, you know, I just can't do that. If I want to do something, it's 222 on my, my video. I, I got to, that, that's a good thing. So obviously I'm stepping out my comfort zone because I want to be able to help people. You know, I know there's somebody always going through something, you know, and I'm hoping that my videos can inspire people, you know, because, you know, like I said, wrong is not built in one day. We're not going to get exactly what we want. You know when we want it you know it we have to go through things to get to it you know i have to keep telling myself that you know because i mean it's just i can go on facebook and you know i guess i'll be all right until the next thing you know somebody's mentioning my dad or you know what's your favorite song or what's the favorite phrase that he uses in a song and i just get um really emotional you know, because I just feel like, I guess his, his anniversary is coming up in a couple of months and I'm not really looking forward to that. Um, I'm just hoping and praying by that time, you know, I will be with my family, you know, so I can be able to deal with it and not have to deal with it on my own. Because it's like, you know, my children, they understand, but they really don't because, you know, they weren't really, you know, into that era at that time, you know, or into their grandfather's music like I was, you know, they listen to certain songs and they'll, you know, they'll run around and sing it. And I just know that that's just my dad letting me know that, you know, I'm here, you know, I'm, you're going to be okay. And I keep hearing, you know, I'm just a hundred paces around the road. I'm just right around the corner. So, you know, be patient. And I'm me, I'm a tourist. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm, I'm bullheaded. I'm very stubborn. We don't have patience, you know, especially being an indigo. We really don't have patience. And I know I have to learn that. I keep telling myself that I get aggravated. So, you know, I'm, I might just go ahead and. You know, I was out there, you know, crushing cans today, you know, just a few days ago. I was picking out, you know, picking up trash in my neighborhood, you know, because a lot of people just litter and I just hate that. You know, I'm just trying, you know, to make the world a better place. I, You know, I had this weird dream last night. and it, it was, I don't know, me and my friend was just talking about, you know, the movie Arrival. And I don't know if you guys have seen that. And it's a very, very good movie. It's very deep. You know, um, it's about these aliens that came uh, to earth and they're trying to figure out what they're doing here, you know, and I'm not going to tell you guys any, but it was very beautiful and it was very emotional to me because the woman kind of reminded me of myself, you know, she's trying to go out here and communicate and, 
basically trying to save the world, you know, and that's all us light workers or we're trying to do, you know, because there's just so much uh, chaos going in the world, you know, this, this, you know, terrorist band or whatever, you know, I mean, we have people here that, you know, it's just like you can't go to church without getting, you know, worried about getting shot. You can't go to the movies and enjoy yourself with your friends and family without having to worry about somebody's going up in there and, you know, acting stupid or going to the mall, you know, um, it's just all this violence is going around and it's, it just seems like, is this going to get any better? <laughs> you know, as, you know, us as, as humans, you know, we're all different shades, colors, you know, different walks of life, but, you know, we were all, you know, we all have blood running through our veins and, you know, color and nationalities and religion should not divide us, you know, and it just seems like, you know, I'm not all into this government stuff, but I'm so tired of hearing about it. I'm just so tired of hearing about it, you know, because I just feel like this man has, has shown who he is and there was still people that was willing to go ahead and vote for him and now they're complaining about stuff and i'm just like are you surprised <laughs> you know are you surprised but i thought i'm gonna get off of that but you know i just keep having these dreams you know if, if it's not about my aunt or you know people telling me you know we're gonna miss you i can't believe you're you know you're moving and and i keep saying you know i i can't believe i'm on my way home you know, and then I just, every single night, I just have this, it, it's a knock at my door, and every time, you know, I'm trying to figure out who is this at my door, you know, I, uh, I always wake up, and I'm just like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to see who this is, and I know it's just, you know, the powers that be is just trying to get me prepared, and I know I'm prepared, I've been past ready since, you know, 20 some years ago. <laughs> But I know I've just been working on it hard for the last, you know, it seems like a year. You know, I was, I took a break from it because I know it was like emotionally draining. I don't know if it was just the fact that <clears throat> I, I was feeding off of my dad's emotions, you know, because I knew something was going on and I knew something was wrong. Like, you know, back in 2015, you know, and I just, you know, it, it just took me a long time to just go ahead and get the information and. You know, I just get frustrated with the my family that, you know, adopted me when they have all this information and they, you know, they just taunt me. You know, now, I, I mean, I'm just getting peace because I haven't heard from them, thank God. But, uh, you know, I'm just ready to go home. You know, I'm just ready to be with my family and I just get frustrated and I start crying just like, God, you know, why for something that I want this, <clears throat> you know, this so simple why is it so hard why do I have to jump through all these hoops and you know I have to keep telling myself you know you go through these things for a reason you know um and it, it's just you know it, it warms my heart when people are looking forward to seeing my videos or they tell me you know Rosalyn you've been through a lot you can still put a smile on your face I say yeah I mean going through cancer seeing my mom die of cancer, my adopted mom die of cancer, you know, years of abuse, you know, on top of, you know, uh, me finding out about who my father was, you know, back in nine, in the 90s, you know, it, it, that was just a lot. And I know I can just, just sit there and think about everything that I've been through and find a blessing out of it. And, you know, that's enough to smile about. You know, even though the world can be a cruel place, you know, I'm just trying not to let it harden me, you know, make me bitter because I know that everything, you know, everything's going to be okay. You know, and just on my last video, if anybody was wondering about that court issue, everything has been dropped. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. You know, I'm just glad that's over and done with, you know, and I prayed about it, you know, and I'm just like, you know, if my family comes down here, I don't, you know, I don't need to be dealing with all that stuff. I'm just ready to pack up and go. <laughs> you know, so if they tell me you ready to go home, I'm going to be ready. So, you know, I mean, everything's, everything is coming into fruitation for me. And I, I guess it's just, I have to be grateful for the little things so I can appreciate the big things that are about to come in my life. And I'm, you know, and I'm very grateful for everything that I go through and everything that I experience. And, you know, like I said, I'm hoping that, you know, my videos or one of my videos, you know, you'll get something out of it. 
and you know um when you have your you know your your uh twin soul or your soulmate or whatever you want to call it and you know they've moved on or whatever and they tell you you know you get that whisper in your ear or you get a thought in your head just pay attention to it because you're getting those things for a reason so i'm not going to take you guys this time up today i hope you guys have a blessed prosperous day and i will talk to you in a few days you know i might talk to you know talk to you guys tomorrow i don't know it just feels how you know it depends on how i feel and what what new things i have to talk about but you know if you enjoy my video please leave a comment you know um you can find my at my email address and my facebook you know on my descriptions uh on my channel um or you know subscribe or like the video please and i will talk to you guys later peace love bye